Have you just started out on your animal communication journey and are struggling to understand if you are communicating with your animals or not? I'm going to share with you a few tips that can help you understand if the communication is coming from your animal. Hi, my name is Akshaya Kaule. I'm a nature and animal communicator, which means I can speak to plants, animals and other species and have two-way conversations with them. Oftentimes, when we have started out on our communication journey, or even if we are experienced, we face, pro uh, we face confidence issues while understanding if the messages that are coming to us are really coming from the animal. This happens more so when we have just started out and we are looking to understand if the messages are really coming from the animals. A lot of times, even if you have not set out consciously on this journey of communication, you are still communicating with your animals at all times. It's only that when you start learning animal communication or doing it more consciously, do you realize that these experiences you have been having are actually communications and not a figment of your own imagination. When we speak about intuitive or telepathic communication, the basis of the communication is transfer of information through our thoughts and feelings. We use all our senses as a media to this communication and hence the messages are sent and received in the form of these five senses. So we may see things, we may hear things, we may feel things, we may even smell and taste certain things sometimes. It could also be just a thought or a gut feeling that you may have when it comes to communicating with your animals. So the first thing that I would recommend you to do is each time you're consciously communicating with your animals, focus on these senses and figure out how you're receiving these messages. So if you're receiving more visuals, if you're receiving more sounds, if you're getting a strong feeling, just try to figure out how you're receiving these messages. Now, don't be too hyper focused on it as well, because remember that communication is extremely subtle. So it'll be very subtle shifts of energy that you'll feel. So anything that comes to you even very subtly, like a very random image or you know a feeling which is not very strong but you'd still have that feeling or a thought make a note of it this way you will get to understand first thing how you're receiving the messages and then each time you're communicating ensure that you are more aware and mindful of how you're receiving these messages so that it becomes stronger a few ways that you can be sure that the messages are coming to you is that is when you are speaking to an animal or if you're just sitting and not doing anything and suddenly a thought comes to your mind about your animal, you can be assured that the animal is reaching out to you. Likewise, in the same scenario, if you're not doing anything and or rather if you are communicating and suddenly a message comes to you uh, in the form of a visual, if you see something, that is a sure shot sign that the animal is communicating with you through a visual. This could also be replicated in the form of audio so if you hear something or if you you know it could be a word it could be a sound that could be a sure shot way of the animal communicating with you oftentimes it's very dif difficult to differentiate between our own thoughts and how we perceive things versus how the animal is communicating so don't worry about it because it seems very similar and that's completely common for us to feel like we are making it up However, how I would differentiate is the suddenness with which the uh, message comes to us, you know. So if, I'm, if I've asked a question, suddenly it will dawn upon me that this could be an answer. And I may think that, oh my God, I have thought of this answer, but it's actually the animal telling us the answer. So these are a few ways that you could understand that the animal is reaching out to you, talking to you, or even when you're communicating, these are a few ways that you can be sure that the animal is replying to you. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and found it helpful. If you do try this out and experience something new, please do comment in the comment section below so that we can all learn from each other's experiences. Until the next video, bye-bye.